Marie Leonard, and I am the chair of the Comox Valley Housing Task Force, and I want to welcome you all here today. This is a, a long time coming, this conversation in the community, and we're looking forward to a very full day. Uh, I want to start off by just introducing Roger Kishi, who is a member of the Wache Friendship Centre, to welcome us to the First Nations welcome. Uh, well, I'm not actually going to deliver a welcome, but I'm just going to, uh, so once again, my name is Roger Tishi. I work at the Watch Aid Friendship Centre in the Homeless Outreach Program. And um, I'd just like to, to start the day by acknowledging the traditional territory of the Comox First Nation and thank them for uh, welcoming us to their traditional territories. Thank you, Roger. Um, I want to acknowledge our partners. We've had a lot of support for coming here today. Uh, BC Healthy Communities has provided a grant. We've had the support of the United Way. And we have, most importantly, had the support of local government. The Regional District of the Comox Valley has supported putting forward this uh, forum so that we could gain the funds. We also have, the task force has funds from the now Island Health, it used to be Vancouver Island Health Authority, uh, which we, we have dedicated to bringing this event to you today. So we have the village of Cumberland here, the town of Comox, the city of Courtney, and the regional district. I want to make a special thank you to Eagle FM, who has been a great sponsor. They have been advertising for a couple weeks now, I think, um, on Eagle FM. And they're here again this morning. They'll be uh, taking taking note and, and, and advertising throughout the day. Uh, I want to also thank Quality Foods and Courtney and Safeway, who have provided a lot of the refreshments. I've already mentioned Salvation Army's generosity, Green's Bakery. Uh, Michael Pitcher is a member of the task force, and he's provided some muffins outside. Starbucks is providing coffee out there. And Staples Business Depot has given us discounts for all the paperwork and uh, various and sundry stationary items. And I just want to let you know, too, that we are um, taping each of the panels. Uh, Dan Peruzzo over in the corner is, is helping us with that. And throughout the day, you'll find a big guy named Zach White who, who will be doing a a uh, bunch of videotaping and interviewing to check out, uh, to create a, a short that will all be posted on the website at the end of, well, not today, but shortly thereafter, we hope. So we invite you to go to cvhousing.ca regularly after this event and tell, tell your friends and neighbors. And uh, today is a conversation. We've, we've, you can see we've set up a sort of a comfy living room feel there. We're hoping that the the event will feel like a conversation, you'll hear from experts, and you will get to be a part of that conversation. We've set aside 15 minutes for folks to have an opportunity to, to engage too. So you can share your stories, you can ask questions, uh, and, and we just want to make it an easy day and, and, and feel good about it at the end of it. It's building housing solutions together. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Don Bonner, who's the president of the United Way for Central and Vancouver Island North, who will be giving an introduction to our keynote speaker. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. Um, in, I'm from Nanaimo, um, president of the United Way Central and Northern Vancouver Island, and uh, we have board members up and down the island. In Nanaimo, we've had some issues in the past. Um, what you're doing here today is the first step, I believe, in uh, dealing with uh, the issue of homelessness in the Comox Valley. And in the Nanaimo area, we had the same problems. We had many agencies that weren't talking together. Um, they were building silos, um, and it, it became a problem for us. And I think the United Way can help in helping with all these organizations uh, getting together because there's nobody from outside that's gonna help you solve these problems. You, this is a problem that you guys are going to be dealing with and you guys are gonna be solving. And uh, the United Way is here to help in any way that we can help you uh, deal with your homeless issues here. So with that, uh, the United Way has also been sponsoring and funding a number of organizations in the area. And in addition to that, 
we've got a new sort of uh, grant applications and grant uh, granting proposals that we've been doing recently. And one is regarding giving shelter. It's a nonprofit organization that raises awareness of advocates for and otherwise assists the homeless of the Comox Valley in British Columbia, Canada. The organization is the brainchild of 14-year-old Lake Trail Middle School student, student Rachel Jankowski. Ms. Jankowski started the organization after she became aware of the homeless crisis in her community after networking with people who work directly with the homelessness. Recent activities of Gibby Shelter have included a social awareness campaign, lobbying of municipal politicians, and a care package campaign. In the coming months, Gibby Shelter intends to promote volunteerism among students, continue to lobby local politicians for more support, and organize a charity art exhibit to benefit Comox Valley Hopeless. Please welcome Jan, Rachel Jankowski. Good morning. My name is Rachel Jankowski, and I'm here to tell you about my journey with the Comox Valley Hopeless. So last year, my teacher introduced an I Can project. We had to do something about what bothered us. What bothered me, I didn't know. I pondered over what bothered me for about a week. And then one day, I was sitting in my mom's car with her down by Edible Island, and a homeless man came up to my mom's car and asked for food. So, when a homeless man comes up to you and asks you for food, what are your first emotions? I was upset. I was overwhelmed and I needed to fix this problem. So, after the coming months of figuring out this problem and researching and finding information on, on it, I realized there wasn't a lot of awareness about it. So, I went out and I interviewed people in the Comox Valley who work on the front lines with the homeless. I was upset and I was angry with the information that they were gave, giving me because nobody was doing anything about it. There was people helping, but nothing was getting done. So I started Gimme Shelter. Gimme Shelter is a nonprofit organization that raises awareness, advocates for, and gives to the, gives to the homeless of the Comox Valley. I'm here today to tell you about what inspired me and what my passion is towards these people. Over the last few months, I've spoken to the city council and I have done numerous interviews with people who have asked me about my journey. And today I'm going to tell you more about it. So, after the ball got rolling with speaking with the city council, I realized I was going to go and raise more awareness and give to the homeless of the Comox Valley. I started a, a campaign called Restoring Hope. Restoring Hope is a project that I am working on that gives gives to the sorry gives to the people and the homeless that are struggling in the Comox Valley. These packages contain a toothbrush and a comb and many other things. We've already started fundraising for this project. In June 2013, we hosted a charity art show that raised funds for giving shelter and, re and restoring hope. We have really exceeded our goal on how much we wanted to raise, and it has come to that we had more money to donate to, to other people. One thing I just want to say is that what inspires me, and it, it's what, what should inspire you, is that we are here as one community, and we can do something about this, this problem in our community, which is the homeless, and we can come together and we can solve this. Today, we are going to be brainstorming and trying to figure out problems to, and trying to solve these problems. I wake up every morning and I'm thankful for the life I have. I see and I hear about horrifying things that happen to people. And I want to solve the crisis that's happening in our community, which is homelessness. So today, let's join together and inspire one another. Thank you. See what I mean? <laughs> Thank you so much, Rachel. 
a great last thought for the day. I want to uh, introduce, I should have done this earlier, but the chair of the regional district is here also to welcome us to Building Housing Solutions Together. So I'd like to call on Evan Green to come on up. Thank you. Uh, I'm here to welcome everyone to the beautiful Comox Valley and a big hello from the Comox Valley Regional District. Um, homelessness is definitely a present and growing issue across Canada. Um, this tin can has been kicked down the road by the federal to the provincial governments and often ending up at the bottom of the line, which of course is local government. Uh, I don't think there's anybody here that hasn't had somebody in their lives touched by these issues, whether it's a brother or a sister, a nephew or a niece, or a son or a daughter. Mental health, uh, addiction problems, domestic violence, these are all contributing factors on this very complex issue. And British Columbia traditionally has had some of the highest costs of living and the lowest wages in all of Canada. And this means a disproportionate amount of the income has been spent on shelter and basic necessities. We at the local level often lack the capacity and resources needed to solve these problems in our neighborhoods. So then we turn to our community, to our service clubs, our nonprofits, and faith-based organizations for help. It is through these engagements like this that we look for all the answers. Maybe we won't find all the answers, but I'm hoping we'll find some here today. Thank you very much.